Hey guys, we're eat we're actually eating since this is a thing about food, but welcome to back to Call Me Game or Call Me Ghost. We're playing we're playing food game. We're <laughs> we're playing a Colonel Sa Sanders dating sim. Um apparently we like if we spared the monster in the last episode, he comes back and helps us. So let's see what happens. I have a chocolate orange. Wow. I forgot I need to read in this game. Give me a second. <laughs> Music's a bop. Okay. Students, students, please take your seat. I apologize for my late arrival. I spent the morning chasing a car all around town, and my tiny legs are very, very tired. <laughs> but I'm here now, and I hope you're ready to learn. I have a chocolate orange, and Tyler brought in uh, the bag of sweet chili Doritos mm -hmm. that we have. They're good, aren't they? They're, oh my my favorite. God. They're, They're my favorite. one of my favorites, bro. Yeah, me too, honestly. I fucking love that flavor. Rub his furry dog belly. He loves it. After he catches his breath, Sprinkles regains control of the classroom. Without further ado, without further ado, we'll review the global history of my favorite fowl, the chicken. You want to pay attention to the lesson, truly you do. Which is why in 1776, at the signing of the Declaration of Independence, it was a chicken who first signed their name. But you can't help but daydream about Colonel Sanders, and you miss most of the important parts. When you come to, Sprinkles is holding a tray of food in front of you. Well, Hanky Panky? Naturally, this appears to you to be a simple platter. Sample platter. Sample platter. Which item do you want to sample? A dog biscuit, a glass of water, or a shimmering pepper? Um. A, a shimmering pepper. Alright. You like spicy shit anyway. Mm hmm. A brightly colored pepper stands out. Uh, from the other items. It sparkles in a most eye-catching way. So naturally, you reach out, grab it, and eat it right away. However, your body is not prepared for the heat. The pepper has triggered an intense spice hallucination. It feels like forever as you trip through the universe. God damn. My friend. My friend. Oh. <laughs> Fucking student. This guy again? <laughs> I'm here to give you an important message. Oh. You must avenge my death and fulfill your destiny. Kill them all. <laughs> all you must do is... <clears throat> I was saying to fulfill your destiny, all you must do is... <clears throat> Sorry, I think I've got some spice stuck in my throat. It's fine. I'll work through. <clears throat> to fulfill... <laughs> the prophecy... <laughs> You must... You feel yourself beginning to regain consciousness. <laughs> oh man. You come to and find everyone is staring at you. That pepper was the last of its kind on Earth, and now it's gone forever! <laughs> Shit! You think to yourself, geez, I should I should pay better attention. We all make mistakes. Mistakes. We all make mistakes. I'm sure I'll forgive you someday. Come on, it's time for lunch! Before anyone can relax, the cafeteria lights dim. And your rivals may make to enter a dramatic announcement. Enter to make a dramatic announcement. Today's lunch will be prepared via timed competitive cook-off. The level of theatrics of these two is off the chart. Demand they stop wasting everyone's time or step up and tell them, you're on! Stop wasting everyone's time. Okay, sure. Is everything a competition with you two? Yes? Yes! Well, not with me. I'm on a personal journey to learn to love. To learn to love? Sure, why not? But definitely not to constantly battle. Yeah, stop getting your genres crossed! Don't you have some portable monsters to capture or something? I need to, I need to eat if I'm going to have the energy to sustain my education and pursue my dreams of being a master chef. How are any of us supposed to get anywhere if we're constantly fending off challenges from every know-it-all with an apron? <laughs> they look offended. Besides, I already brought my own lunch. Hanky Panky, you should have it. It gives 
It will give you the energy you need to succeed. And Miriam reaches out and presents a gift to you. A special, oh my god, it's so tiny! <laughs> my special grilled cheese and tomato soup with chocolate milk to wash it down, and a tartlet for dessert! It's so fucking cute! <laughs> I love everything about Miriam. Like, everything. I love everything about Miriam. Oh my god, the fucking tiny food! Does Miriam become the fucking vine that just does tiny food videos? Like, that's what, oh my god. Maybe. It only takes you about five seconds to eat Miriam's tiny food, but, it, but it's just what you needed for motivation. You know what? I've learned enough for today. Let's battle. What? <laughs> just as things reach a boiling point, Sprinkle steps in. Surely he'll put a stop to this madness. Now, now, students, please settle down. This is a lunchroom, not a sports sing, sing court. Sports sing court? Finally, a little, finally, a little since you breathe a sigh of relief. At least not until we turn on the timer. <laughs> 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 timer ready. Just then a huge light blast you in the face, flashing the words, Timer ready. That's what I'm talking about! Aroo! <laughs> I stand corrected. If it's a battle you want, it's a battle you'll get! My best and can best the best of them! Best believe it! Went Naruto for a second. Mm -hmm. Like a diamond, I was formed under pressure, and now is my chance to shine. All right, man. I'm l thing is, beautiful fucking character. I love this. Like, I love this. This little, this little, little splooge over of the of the knee highs, fucking or the thigh highs. Love that shit. Like, that's some of my favorite shit in anything, really. No, love it. Perfect. But she's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I will defeat. Nope, that's the wrong character. I will defeat you myself. I have a carving knife. <laughs> <laughs> You had his chicken, and you made mashed potatoes and gravy on day one. And you're feeling like you can really impress him again here. Let's make macaroni in a pot that's so wet! <laughs> it's time to boil some water for the pit. Oh, we're doing mashed potatoes again. Think fast. If the timer runs down, it'll be forced to pick randomly. What temperature does water boil at? Fuck! Um, um... T Tyler? 100 degrees Fahrenheit. That's wrong. Fuck! <laughs> oh no! I don't know Celsius! What were you think? What were you thinking, Hanky Panky? Get your head in the game. I'm scared. I don't like this. You need to get. You need to season this chicken before you cook it. You don't know Colonel Sanders' recipe exactly, but you have an idea. Uh, how many herbs and spices? Did he say eleven. He said eleven. Yep. Uh, that's right. You may not know all the ingredients yet, but at least you're heading in the right direction. Uh, tail wagging intensifies. <coughs> Excuse me. Now that you've got some basic steps going, it's time to elevate your craft. <coughs> what state of mind offers the most flavor? Excuse me. Um. 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 Trust. trust. That's wrong! Fuck! <laughs> We're screwed, Tyler! We messed up! I'm begging you to get it together. Get it? I'm a dog. It's never the wrong time for some dog jokes. Next question. Your classmates are rooting for you, but Ashley is simply stronger and faster than you. You better pick up the pace if you want to survive. I'm so scared. When you were a child, your father told you never forget uh, where you came from every day. You meditate on his advice and draw energy from that place. Now would be a great time to harass her harness the energy. So where does it come from? Um, uh... uh this one! Yeah. Yes! That was your yeah. shot! No, wait, no, 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 no. This is your shot, you're not gonna miss. Okay, I thought it said I missed it. <gasps> ah you try to shut out the noise of the arena and focus on your cooking. What is the sound of success? Um. Um. Sizzling? Mm hmm. No! <laughs> That's wrong! You told me to get the spray bottle! <laughs> is this the end? Yep! Game over. Yes, I would like to try again. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. I hope it... Oh my god. Imagine if it started from the very beginning of the game. Can you fucking imagine? Can you fucking imagine, Ty? I know you're eating chips. Please. Hmm? Do not wish that on us. Do not. I don't wish that on anybody. Please, just restart the questions. Watch me different questions too. I just keep fucking it up. You want a duel after this? You know what? Yeah, after we get like recording and stuff done, yeah. why don't we duel? Sure. Hell yeah. I don't have anything going on. Okay. Uh, we'll just do the same things as last mm -hmm. time. Fuck it. I'm clicking it. Okay.
right. Tiny, tiny grilled cheese, tiny soup. Timer ready, a rule, I stand corrected, prove it, okay. We got this, we got this. Okay, Celsius this time. Yep. Click the fucking thing! Okay. Winner gets a, gets to rub my furry belly. Let that enticing offer motivate you. Alright, you're going to need to season this chicken. Okay, you have an idea. It was 11. 11, okay, so we got- That was the only one we got right! Yeah. <laughs> Head in the right direction. Tail wagging intensifies. Elevate your craft. Trust. Gratitude? Mm-hmm. That's right! Okay, cool, cool, cool! Because trust was wrong. Classmates rooting for you. Ashley, something stronger and faster. Okay. Um, when you're a child, your father. Okay, I remember this one. Because we got this one right, actually. Small, Small town where dreams are born. That's right. This is your shot, and you're not going to miss it. Okay. Aru. <laughs> <laughs> Try to shut the noise. Uh, so it wasn't sizzling. It was silence, right? Maybe? Yeah. Two silence. Yeah! Hell yeah, we did it! You notice Colonel Sanders out of the corner of your eye. He's sexy as fuck. I believe in you, Hanky Panky. He's actually cheering you on. Which would be awesome, except knowing he's watching you make, uh, watching you makes you, knowing he's watching you makes you totally forget what you were doing. Oh, fuck. Now all you can think about is Colonel Sanders. <laughs> How many spoonfuls of gravy would it take? Okay, what? Um, shit, no, what? I didn't even get to read. Oh, no. What do you take? Um, what a hunk. Oh, God, no. Oh God, no! Pick. Be ready to pick. You know what, uh, challenge? You're falling behind. Okay. Uh, there's none of them are the right answer. Oh my God, they're all like you and Colonel Sanders and shit. Okay. Um. Woof woof. Oh God, you're always struggling. Keep up. Next station over. Actually, seems. Hari began uh, plating elements of her dish. It's colorful and complex. To make up time, you lost your biscuit dough into you a toss your, biscuit. toss your biscuit dough into a stand. Ma Mixer, as you do, the crowd gasps. Hey, yikes! Oh no, was it? It's Clank! Fuck! I know you love nothing more than seeing a fellow appliance utilized in a kitchen battle with something that. Wait, sometimes that means sacrificing the personal touch! What? Hold up. Were? You might not have. You might not have any hands, but Hanky Panky does, and a good chef needs to be touching the dough to know when it's probably mixed! There's an easy way and a hard way. You don't get far by going the easy way. I guarantee you every KFC only does the easy way ever. Oh, yeah. Just fucking... How serious... When everyone... When you hear everyone talking, you realize how serious your error was. You immediately shove your hand into the mixer and rescue your dough before it's overmixed. It cuts your hand off! Peggy, Peggy, no! <gasps> my battery's running low! Shit, where's my fucking charger? Did the game close? Fuck! I love this part. This is my favorite part, guys. Okay. I plugged it in. It's not charging! Because the because the charger isn't plugged in! Got it. Why is it still not charging? There it is. Okay. Thank fucking God. Alright, so I just need to open this back up, right? Mm hmm Hanky, 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 no! <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway. You're not fast enough and your hand gets stuck in me. It's immediately crushed by the quickening, spinning... Oh, I was right. There's no way you'll be able to use that hand for the rest of the match. Colonel Sanders shakes his head in shame. Guys, be concerned. Jesus. What you often find is that the easy way can turn out much, much more difficult. Everyone, stop what you are doing right now. The battle is over. Our student literally fucking crushed their hand! <laughs> it can't be, I was so close to finishing my dish! Sweetheart, look at your hand, you simply can't go on. Aw, too bad, and here I am with a completed dish ready to serve. Surely that makes me the winner by default! No, no, it wouldn't be fair to compare the two on account of Hanky Panky's injury. You see Sprinkles begin to lick his doggy chops as he locks onto the dish. But I suppose you should at least tell us what you prepared. Well, because I'm the sweetest, I skip straight to dessert. Under this white chocolate dome, you'll find a wide array, a, array of delights, taking you on a journey of flavor that tastes good and tells a story of excellence. I was going to ask Anki 
I was gonna ask Hanky Panky to do the honor, but since you're injured, I'm afraid that pouring this creamer of delicate hot chocolate sauce might be too difficult. Y'all, I need to go to the hospital. <laughs> Colonel, San Colonel Sanders, if you wouldn't mind lending me your strong, steady hand. Colonel Sanders pours the hot chocolate sauce on top of the dome, causing it to melt away, revealing the ingredients hidden within. Inside, you'll find a delicate fried cheese crook. Ew, cheese in white chocolate? What the fuck? On top of a slice of honeycomb, ice cream, two ways, tender nougat, and pearls of blue. This sounds disgusting. Like, this does not sound to my liking at all. Just completely honest. Colonel Sanders seems intrigued, but perhaps not impressed as he dips his finger into the chocolate mm. sauce. Simplicity isn't your strong suit, is it, Ashley? <gasps> oh, you! <laughs> that wasn't a compliment. As he places a sauce-covered finger into his lips, Ashley leans over and whispers something into his ear. A dab of sauce sticks to his mustache. Internalize that rage you feel, or put yourself between Sir Sanders and Ashley? <laughs> um. Um. Oh. Um. What are you thinking? Um, I think we should internalize the rage. Yeah. Let's internalize that rage. We already fucked up once today. Your brains, your your rage burns so immensely, intensely within your eyes that they burst into flames. The flames cause your eyebrows to catch fire and turn to ash, and they fall off your face, which means people are having a hard time understanding your emotions for the rest of the semester. Perhaps forever. Are you fucking kidding me? Embarrassed and ashamed by your poor performance, not to mention crispy, fried brow, you run for the quad to be alone. Oh no. The beautiful weather feels like an insult inside of you. A storm rages. It's Colonel Sanders. He's probably here to tell you that he and Ashley are in love and have decided to get married. Fuck! And he won't even ask you to cater his wedding because you're a terrible chef and an awful person. Fuck, man! You try to hide from him, but he approaches you directly. I know you're hurting right now. Yeah, literally, I crushed my fucking hand in a mixer! <laughs> Not just from devastating loss, from all, but also from that run-in with the mixer and that small fire. <laughs> you should get that checked out. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm fine. Can you just leave me alone? I'm a loser. I'm not fit to fill your fryer. I've never been- I'll never be a master chef. Failure is a part of life. Not just for you, but for all of us. Do you think I've never failed at anything before? Absolutely not, you have not! <laughs> That's exactly what I think! Well, think again! I was always the man you see- I wasn't always the man you see before you, enrolled in culinary school, incredibly handsome, successful, motivated- Alright, calm down there! <laughs> well, handsome for sure, I was born- well, handsome, sure, I was born that way. But I've walked other paths and arrived at dead ends. I was passionate about life, but I failed as an obstetrician? Oh my god, this is legitimately what he actually did, like Colonel Sanders. Um, I was passionate about justice, but I failed as a lawyer. Yeah, that's right. Oh, shit. I was passionate about livestock, but even failed as a mule handler. That one was especially humiliating. Mules can be so cruel. <laughs> I didn't know. People see my delicate ribbon tie and my well-kept be kept beard and assume that, I have, that I've got it all together, which is true now, but it, always ha it hasn't always been. Sound like this guy sounds like this guy could really use a hug. I resolved, I resolved then that I was going to amount to something. No amount of hours, labor, or money would deter me from giving the best I had to give. A Colonel Sanders, as Colonel Sanders changes focus, you see, you can see something ignite inside him, a burning passion. One has to remember that every failure can be, can be a stepping stone to something better. My, my new dream is pure. It's honest. It's something that a humble man in a crisp white suit can be proud of. I will create a new train of chicken restaurants that will bring joy to the entire world and make up for my past misdeeds. Yay! <laughs> Fucking pop, get out of here! <laughs> Just as your moment grows intimate, you're interrupted by a threatening, shadowy presence. Battle scarred from the night before, you prepare for the worst. It's the Spork Monster. Gorko, the Spork Monster is here to fight a hero! Is anyone else feeling a bit of deja vu? I'm sorry, Gorko, but I could have sworn we already battled you last night. That was Borko, my twin! And I, Gorko, am here to avenge them! Are you stronger than Borko? Well, we're twins, so no, not really, but we're pretty much exactly equal in every way. Why do you ask? <laughs> Thundaga! <laughs> <laughs> Colonel Sanders smirks. He's already on the same page as you. It's just, it's just that we beat Borko pretty easily, so I don't... 
don't think you have much of a chance. Not to mention, I feel pretty guilty about it. If I couldn't take it back, I would. If I could take it back, I would. I think what Hanky Panky is saying is, can't we just be friends? Life's too short for making enemies. I suppose... Really don't need to fight? It's just uh, I've got these pointy teeth and claws! Those are sporks, friend. All the better for enjoying tasty food. Surely you like to eat, don't we all? Of course I do! Inspiration strikes and you come up with a quirky idea. A quick. A quick idea? Yeah. Why'd I say fucking quirky? Chop on this! You toss a biscuit into Gor Gorko's open mouth and he devours it in one gulp. Delicious! You're much nicer than the evil students who once who once upon a time turned me into this creature who stands here today. Let me guess, it was the rivals, right? Van Van and Ashley. <laughs> I don't believe it. You were human once? Everyone was. Well, no, I was a Chihuahua. <laughs> but I was still a student at the school until one day some mean kids with a magic spell book cast a dark enchantment on me and I was forever transformed. A magic spell book. Precisely, Borko used to have a copy, but somewhere along the way I've lost it. If you find such a book, I beg of you, respect it. You're a powerful chef, and I shouldn't rely on such e and you shouldn't rely on such evil and dark magic. No, you should be protecting the innocent from those who would cheat them through sorcery and guile. If you need me, don't fear. I will be there. Alright, it gave us another chance and was like, alright, this time you're gonna spare them. <laughs> it sounds like there are some bad cooks in the kitchen of life. Hanky Panky, together I am sure we can defeat them. It's Ash Lack and Von Von. <laughs> Come back to my hideaway and we can discuss. We gotta fuck, ain't we? We finally gotta fuck the Colonel! A personal invite. I can't imagine about Colonel Sanders' home must be what Colonel Sanders' home must be like, but it sounds like you're about to find out. It's just a it's just a shack with a bunch of shit on it. Like, damn bitch, you live like this? Look at the picture, bro. Oh He's my god, go he's in a <laughs> he has Benjamin Button's disease. <laughs> Oh my god, um, Kentucky, he's in the pyramids, there's a fucking chicken statue here, this is actually a He's got a candle that's literally got the red and white stuff. Who died? This is, this is an urn, this is an urn. Oh my god. I love this house though, this decor, like this, uh, this here is pretty dope. Stepping inside Sanders home, surrounded by his things, you start to feel a special bond with him. It looks like, it looks like you live such an exciting life, Colonel Sanders. Every day can be an adventure if you approach it with the right attitude. Long ago, I made the decision to never stop searching, never stop working, never stop imagining. Have you been working? Have, have you been working on any new recipes of your own lately? I'm always excited to talk about food with another ambitious chef. Well, there is something. It's just a side dish, but I've been tinkering with trying to find the right balance of flavors and textures. I'm not sure I've nailed it yet, but I'm close. Colonel Sanders' eyes perk up as he starts to wonder what dish you might be describing. Is it mac and cheese? Hmm. It's meant to pair with something spicy or something crispy. Both, perhaps? What side do you think from KFC is going to be next? Like, just shot in the dark. What's your guess? Green beans. Green beans? Yeah. Do they even have green beans at yeah. Kentucky Fried Chicken? Do they? Yeah. All right. My guess is mac and cheese. Now you've got him right where you want him. Should you reveal your new creation to him or keep it a secret? Let's reveal that shit, because we want to know, right? Yeah. Cool. You decide that you're as ready as you'll ever be to share your original cooking with San with uh, Colonel Sanders. Sanderson. Sanders Coon. Before Colonel Coon. Before you can talk about it, uh, talk yourself out of it, you decide to dive head first. You reach into your lunch bag for a special dish, and you just It's just keeping on ice all day. It's just a fucking, like, handful of spaghetti in your bag? Yes. Look at this shit. I present to you... My original coleslaw! Oh! Okay. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I can't fucking stand coleslaw. That's why I didn't think of it. The shredded cabbage dish glistens in the light of Colonel Sanders' lu uh, Lux hideaway. <gasps> Magnificent! Something that everybody's gonna hate. Yeah, really! <laughs> Something that everybody will look at and be like, eh, I'll just get the macaroni. <laughs> <laughs> Together you chow down on the creamy slaw until just a spoonful remains in the bowl. Then you share that last spoonful. Do you mind if I hold... The hell? Oh shit! So like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's so fucking funny. So um, so we're using um Streamlabs to record 
right now. Oh my god, that's so fucking funny. We're using Streamlabs to record right now. And um you somebody just person a shout out for the phone. Somebody just fucking followed me on uh on uh Twitch. On Twitch, yeah, because like it's set up to do my Twitch things. And so somebody followed, and so it's like, oh, this person followed you. Um Cause I'm Ed. Thank you for the follow. Oh my god, that's so funny. That is so fucking funny. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but we're using we're using uh, Streamlabs to record for the um, for the YouTube channel right now because my other software doesn't is not working as well, and this is just kind of easier to use. But no, thank you for the follow out of nowhere. Oh my god, <laughs> do I know this person? I need hold on. Let me check and see if I know this person so I can like thank them later or something. I don't think I do. No, I don't think I do. I think it's um... okay. Cool. Well. Uh, cause I'm Ed, thank you for the follow! <laughs> oh shit, um... That, that was hilarious. <laughs> I did not- I was like, wait, what the fuck is going on? Are we- are we streaming? <laughs> Can you imagine if I had just accidentally been streaming this entire time without realizing it? Damn. Oh my god, um... Do you mind if I hold on to the last bite? I'd like to have it around so that I can admire its taste later and think back on this moment. Alright, that's a little creepy. But go off, I guess. Like, go ahead, do what you need to do. You could offer to make him more, but it seems like a very sentimental kind. He seems like a very sentimental kind of guy. Sure, why not? Please make yourself comfortable. I'll be back in a moment. You so realize he's gonna come back in a banana hammock. He's gonna come back and like he's gonna have a, a KFC bucket hanging off of his erect boner. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, oh my god. Chicken. Would you like a? Thigh. <laughs> How about a drumstick? <laughs> you realize that now would be the perfect time to do some snooping. Why? Why would that be the perfect time? Around the room are various items you can look closer at. Each item seems to radiate memories and emotions. Tap on an item to discover more about the about the kernel. I want to know about this fucking urn. Take a closer look at a large urn sitting on a nearby pedestal. There's a plaque on it. It's dusty. When you wipe it off, you can read the inscription. It says, Here lie the ashes of all my past careers and business failures. Oh my god, so it's like that episode of Spongebob where Squidward puts a fucking rose next to a tomb that says, Here lies Squidward's hopes and dreams. Yeah, what, a like, yeah, like, <laughs> what a baby. What a baby. Oh my god. Poor guy. What a baby. <laughs> Alright, um... I picked last time, you picked next. What do you uh, think? The candle. This candle? Yeah. Okay. A scented candle. You pick it up and try to identify its smell. That is indeed a scented candle. See? It says so right here. Yep. Power tool? Freshly starched collar? <laughs> Piece of wood floating in a lake? Summer of 69? <laughs> no. It's one of the secret recipe ingredients. It's redacted! <laughs> God. Tap on an item to discover more about the kernel. Alright, I'm gonna pick this chicken statue. You notice a very realistic stuffed chicken sitting on a uh, corner table. When you pick it up, you realize it isn't just realistic. It's a real chicken! Oh my god! Tax it oh no, taxidermy. It must be it must have uh, been important to Colonel Sanders when it was alive. Little note clipped to the chicken's foot reads, The true state bird of the great state of Kentucky. <laughs> Alright, man, go up. That's a door. Uh, go to the door. I think that might be, like, the, uh, the, the leave. So I, I kind of want to, I kind of want to do that one last. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's do the comb. The comb. Right, yeah. A lock of silver hair is woven through the teeth of this comb. Upon further inspection, you realize that the hair therein isn't just silvery in color. It's actually made of spun silver. <laughs> Tap- WHAT?! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do the lake, or the view. You gaze out the window across the vast lake and mountain range beyond. Just then, the ghost of student pops up! <laughs> Y'all! Are you thinking of heading out into the world on a quest to avenge my death? Wait, what? I never even learned your name! Why would I avenge you?! <laughs> I could just tell you my name right now. It's... Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? <laughs> Fucking student, man. You open the window a crack and the ghost of student is swept out with a breeze. <laughs> Fucking... Uh, poor fucking student. Alright. Uh, one of the pictures. Oh, know. they're dip... There are... It's specific. Oh, yeah, just one of them. I mean, we gotta tap them all. Fair enough. 
An adorable little baby boy crawls across the floor. Uh, from the goatee, goatee and mustache combo he sports, you figure that this must be Colonel Sanders himself. Or that, or maybe it's the drumstick that he seems to be waving like a rattle. Fair enough. Who frames a baby picture of just themselves? <laughs> really, though? Probably the same type of person who would make their own face the logo of the company they founded, am I right? <laughs> Tap on an item to discover more about the Colonel. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead, down, just down the row. Flo appears to be Colonel Sanders, except he's an old man visiting the Pyramid of Egypt? Pyramids of Egypt? Maybe this is where he discovered one of his secret herbs and spices. Alright, and the last one... Then there's one more picture. One of the framed photos shows an old man who looks a bit like Colonel Sanders standing with a friend. They hold fried chicken drumsticks and appear to be, uh, cheersing them. But they're- they're not! They're legitimately not doing that, though. You look closely to see it's a sh there's a short inscription. I wonder who my friend Pete is. Alright. Gotta say, this music fucking slaps, though. Oh, it's a safe! I thought it was a portrait, too. It's a safe. This is where he keeps the secret recipe. You think for a moment, what number is important to Colonel Sanders? Then it dawns on you. As soon as you turn the dial to 11, 11, 11. No, don't do that! So you'll find a single note. Hmm. Can chicken be prepared? Shish shishimi? Style. Is that sh That is shishimi, yeah. right? Okay. Sashimi style? Alright, and we're gonna leave off on that because I believe this is the way out. So, and we're at time. So that's gonna be the end of this episode, and we will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Later, guys.